Welcome to Inside Out Boards with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Thank you for joining us here for some good old outboard fun. I want to give a shout out, big hello to Chris in Ohio. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for the kind comments. I want to say a big shout out to Swifty down in Oregon. Thanks for joining us. Um, anyway, in this video, you remember that boat? I inherited it from a friend of mine who passed and uh, it's been sitting out there and the fella that keeps telling me he's going to come get it, well, let's just say it's still sitting out there. I'd say that's about a load so as soon as I get a couple straps on there and everything I'll head out to the old scrap heap I got a few things I got to take off that one I just put in there though the coils and packs and so forth but it's starting to rain
up there. I think it did. Well, there's the next victim. You ain't gonna believe this. I was thinking something don't look right in that gas tank. Something don't look right. So So I got me a clean glass jar. Well, it's fixed to be clean. It's gonna be clean. I don't know if you can really see it. Even if I shine a light over that, I don't know if you can see the what I'm seeing. But, turkey baster, clean glass jar, turkey baster. Can you see it now? Last time I checked, 50 to 1 fuel mix shouldn't be the color of beef gravy. Cheers. Gross. Yeah, interesting. I wish you could smell this. Amazing. What people will run through their outboards and wonder, now why don't that outboard start? Now, I figured there had to be something down in there that would make it turn rust colored. And what it is, is the keeper. For the uh, cap is down in there. 
and that's what's caused it to turn all brown. Come on. I got to get it with my extra, extra long needle nose. If I can get one leg to come up, that's the hard part. I've got to get just the tip of one leg. There I go. So I guess this keeper, there's also a little spring. Let me just dump that out. Nope. There's a little springling in there somewhere here. Yeah. And not to mention just pure dirt. There's the spring. So that turns all rusty colored with the water. You can't see. See I'm looking in the in the hole. And it's nasty in there. So we'll have to get that all cleaned out. And if you know If the petroleonis looks like that, then you know what the inside of that garbage radar looks like. Uh-huh. See how rusty the top of that lid is? And then that piece that fell off of here was laying down in the tank. And it wouldn't surprise me if the engine wasn't even laying on its side or something and all that rust just turned everything brown. Yeah, see what's in the garbage de reaper. What's inside? Well, luckily, it ain't that bad. I really thought it would be a lot worse. Okay. Put there all them little bits over there. And on this one, I don't guess it would matter which way you put it on there. It looks the same. But! I'm going to make a mark anyway. That goes right on top. If it'll even come off. We'll see what happens after it gets a soak in the uh, ultrasonic. I'm going to go ahead and do that on this one. Put a little heat to it. She's plugged. Either way, well, there, some went that time. So, 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 so. See if I can get it apart. There we go. There's the pin. There's the needle. And If I can get these jets some out of there. Oh 
know if it's coming out or not. <clears throat> Don't think so. I'm going to try a different screwdriver. I have one of these supposed to be for a carburetor jets, but this puppy's tight. Oi! So, I think I'm just going to do the old wire brush treatment on it. Nothing appears to be froze up on it, so I'm going to put it in the cleaner. Did I get everything off of that? Yeah. And put a little heat to it. There's some heat. And we'll get that cleaned up. I'll be back. Okay, we got her out of the ultrasonic cleaner. Give it a little air first. Little tri flow and all the little orifices. I took out this needle here. It was three quarters back in to a light seat, so I turned it clockwise till I got a light seat that was only three quarters. And then I turned it out, cleaned it, put some tri flow down in there. And the same with this little jet here, I cleaned it, so ought to be good. She should be good. Now I took my little wires. See my little wires? Squeaky, squeaky. I did that to all of them. And My little tap it hammer. And there we go. Looks pretty good. There we go. To get it back on, you just put the two screws in first, two bolts. Pardon me. Let me set it down in there. All right. All right, e, we got her in there. Everything hooked back up. So you will see what I see. Turn on the noise box.
if you notice, there's no gas tank on there. I'm running it off a remote tank. There was a valve in here, and it has a, a knob you can turn. It's all froze up. So maybe that's why the gas that was in that looked like it did. I am going to put the tank back on there, but I'm not going to hook it up because it appears the owner was running it only on the remote. Um, there also is no kill switch here. It's missing that, so I'm guessing he was choking it. So before I put that on there, I'm going to ask him what he wants done. But uh, So... Let me get this stuff buttoned back up, the tank and all that. You know. just down the road from the scrap peak. <laughs> the 
So that's where we're heading to the old scrap heap. Get rid of some wonderful outboard scraps. That's what we gotta do. So let's get her done. If I can get my man to use that big old forklift right over there to get them off of here. At least the two big ones. We got nothing in there. We're on my little pick and change lint. Huh? Yep. Okay. Well, I'm just down the road from the scrap peak. So that's where we're heading, to the old scrap heap. Get rid of some wonderful outboard scraps. That's what we gotta do. So, let's get her done. Yep, stay. Says right there, help wanted. If you want to work at the scrap heap, there she be. All its wonderful scrap. Oh, better slow down before I throw some parts off of this thing. See if I can get my man to use that big old forklift right over there to get them off of here. At least the two big ones. We'll see. Hey, can I get you to get the two big ones off with the lift? Yeah. Cool. And if you if you bring me a tote or something, I'll I'll throw the little stuff in it. 
Well, I can just. Yeah, it's. I got two big ones and then just little parts, okay. lowers. We'll do is we'll just, uh, unload everything on the plate here. Okay. Well, like I said, if you'll get them two big ones, I'll take care of the little ones. It's not raining. How's things going? Good. How about you? Not too bad. Busy. Good. Yeah, I bet. Boom, 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 boom. Must be a bear down there at the creek. There's about 20 cars pulled over. We got nothing in there. Where are all my little pick and change went? Somebody needed it. It didn't have one. <laughs> there it goes. I got it.
Huh? Yep. Okay. Just leave it on the motor? Leave it on the motor? Thanks. Thanks, man. Alright, you guys have a good one. Yep. There's a couple. Old outboard's hiding over there. Well, we got that little cutie all squared away. And uh, it runs, it shifts, it pees. And so I'll call the owner and and he can come pick that one up and break some heart. We had to take another load to the scrap heap. If only I could save them all. Breaks my heart. But can't save them all. And uh Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. You understand? So, um, what am I going to bring in next? I don't know. I've got a couple victims I'm considering. Uh, one or two of my own. And then I got at least one more out there for a customer. So, and I don't think the one for the customer is going to be any real big issues. But you never know. And, uh, of course, as always, you never know what's going to show up here at this little shop. So that's going to be a wrap on this one. And as always, that is one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.